coming to you live from Wheeling Island Stadium as the Independence Patriots are set to play in their first ever state championship game. The team warming up on the field behind me. It's the first year ever the Independence Patriots have made it to the state championship game. And if you're wondering what I have in my hands right here, it's the newly named Battle of the Bluestone, this game between Pikeview and Summers County. They've always played this game, but for the first year ever, this trophy right here is on the line. A pretty nice piece of hardware. I'm surprised they let me hold it in my live shot. I'll definitely take good care of it. Check out the field I'm standing on. Liberty High School just installed this brand new turf field. I got a look at it during preseason practice. I asked the players about it. They said they were absolutely loving it. It does get a bit hotter up here now, and I have to say, I do agree with them on that. It is pretty hot up here. The Bluefield High School Beavers finally host the Graham High School g men and I have a very special guest here with me today, Guy Hefner. He played for the Graham High School football team in 48 and 49, traveled all the way from Cincinnati, Ohio, to be at this game today. Bluefield State College football a fond memory for many revived into a new reality Saturday right here at Mitchell Stadium fans will pack the stands to watch Big Blue football play for the first time in more than 40 years. The Graham G men and Bluefield Beavers will not be taking the field this Friday at Mitchell Stadium. Graham High School Athletic Director Ronnie Davis did confirm the news to me just a little bit ago saying the postponement is related to health concerns. Every game I was at Liberty and Independence, Shady yeah. Spring, packed stands and it was a beautiful beautiful sight i felt like a kid on christmas opening just this biggest present ever coming to you live from ernie higgs stadium in richlands for the first time this season we're in the commonwealth for our game of the week and it feels great to be here i will say if there's one thing that's been surprising me about this game is concord's defense it's something that head coach dave walker has been talking about all season and like i've talked about they've been building and building and building and building that's always been their weakest piece and today I have been very impressed. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome into week seven of Football Friday. And if you can't tell by my hair and how it looks right now, it was pretty wet out there today. Just but a little. Just because it was yeah. raining doesn't mean we didn't have some great rivalry games today. Have not tried anything yet, but I'm definitely looking forward to trying something all week. Maybe a different thing every day. The weather is actually holding out for this one. The sun's peeking out from the clouds. It looks like we're going to be good to go for first pitch at 630. Currently, Mountain View is sitting at number five in single A. Greenbrier West is sitting at number 11. So a lot on the line for these two teams. They're both making that last minute playoff push right now for the playoffs. The top 16 teams in class single A, class double A, and class triple A make the playoffs. A trip to Wheeling was on the line this afternoon in Cole City. Let's head there now. It was the Independence Patriots hosting the Bluefield Beavers in the class. Double A state semifinal game winner is headed to the state championship game. Bluefield with the ball first, Riker Brown with the quarterback keeper, and the Beavers are on the board first in this game, up seven to nothing. Independence answers back, Logan Phelan decides to keep it himself, dives into the end zone, and the Pats tie it up at seven in the first, but the Beavers were on fire in the first half. Riker Brown with another quarterback keeper puts the Beavers up 13 to seven. Indy looking to get on the board again, but the Patriots fumble the ball. Bluefield picks it up. Sincere Fields takes it in for another Beavers touchdown up 20 to 7 in the second quarter. We're in the second half now. Atticus Goodson taking some snaps, tosses it to his brother Cyrus Goodson, and the Pats are threatening, and they would get it done. Atticus Goodson takes the handoff, bulldozes his way into the end zone. Pats chipping away. It's 20 to 14. Independence with the ball again. Atticus Goodson again takes the handoff into the end zone. Patriots tie it up at 20, and they weren't done. Bluefield controlled the first half, but Indy controlled the second. Intercepted by Cyrus Goodson for the pick six. Indy now leads 27 to 20 in the fourth quarter. Patriots add on one more for good measure, and Independence is headed to the state championship game in Wheeling. For the first time in school history with a 34 to 20 win over Bluefield.